about to start match five, match six with Roma Knights looking to get their first victory. Our commentators for today is MC Jagan Stout. I know our New Zealand based commentator, the man called Grinch, arrived in a few months ago from Christchurch, New Zealand. He will be covering this super match today. Who will come out on top? Thank you for such kind introduction, Bravo. Of course, we're about to get action on the way. Ever slick. Ever slick. Ever slick. Wiley, based on scheme, who would you say will come out on top, knowing that Roma seem to be the beaten stick in this group stage? Well, we all know Roma, this jersey is so pretty. I don't think they're going to go down there for play. And this guy, just look at the size of his feet. I don't think he should be bowling in no balls, my friend. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame, but it is what it is. It's down to fitness. <laughs> and that's a shot by Mari. Of course, Mari cannot run as he cannot run faster than that. The size of the belly holding him back. <laughs> the new recruit for Roma. Delroy, 17 million pounds. I'm wondering where Roma get money from. Of course, money flooding into the Roma's camp. They also changed their jersey. Lavrish. Yo, Splinter. And just to remind the batsman, no buy is playing nor leg by. Stole the new. The, the, well, here comes Jacob Bowling to the new signing and he's speed away. Now to cover Swelly with his belly. Just drop on that ball there and it's a single. And we know it's a court. They have taken a cap from him. So Jacob is bowling again to many and he's defending that one there. No run. This first over can be very tricky as we all know. Jacob has been. The latest bowler to receive the uh, sugar formula <laughs> comes up and bows to Mali, and it's a wide signal by the umpire. Jacob missing his line, so when it's not a no ball, it's a wide. I'm wondering what's next. Is he gonna hit the head of Mali with a bouncer as Jacob comes up and bows to Mali, playing defensively? A chance for <laughs> the non then. He missed and of course, the good save. From the number 15, the new recruit. Yeah. That beach is signal for his lethal, and it's another no ball and a free hit. The score moves on to six without loss. Roma with a gifted first over. As Mali to face the. Whoa. And there we go. And that six was sponsored by uh, Sugar. Brilliant six. That's the formula we're talking about, and Mali capitalized. As Jeko seemed to looking for redemption, and uh, it's a wide. This is one of this is the second longest over. We all know Scheme has the record for that. Shane bowling 32 ball, feeling at <laughs> long off. And Jeko hoping to break the record. Let's see if he will break that record. What do you think, Wiley? Well, we all know scheme is competitive, but not with your own teammate, my friend. Oh, this is bowling down. Football by Jekko. Yoko let the ball through there. And Mali swinging a miss. And his stumps are cards wheeling down. I've never seen the Bears dance like that. I would like forever to bring that ball into slow motion. Everyone would like to see the Bills dancing. It's, it's as if it's carnival. And Mali back to the pavilion. After that brilliant six. And Jacob got his retribution. Yeah. 
And Mali goes. Mali goes for seven. And the score is 13 for one. We're about to start over number two. I think Molly was high on Molly there. He didn't see that delivery any at all. <laughs> of course, we have Boy Brown in the midst of Roma team today, the chairman of the Gelding Club. <laughs> and the Canary about to bowl. I'm not sure the Canary now. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> and a swing and a miss by Delroy. <laughs> Yo! And Tweety, with, I don't know what he's doing, but he comes up and bows to Delroy. <laughs> Tweety, with the action of as if he's a baseball pitcher. He's bowling even faster than when he's running up the ball pace. It's a brilliant piece of bowling. Right outside of half stump and Jekko motivating his bowler. And Delroy looking for the bad ball. And oh, yeah. There it is. And that goes for six. And of course, that's six. Molly, but he's not at the crease. He's back to the puppy. Is it going to be taken by Jekko? Save pair of hands. And that's the second wicket to tumble for Roma. He's batting at number four. You're wondering if this Roma tail has started. Here comes Tweedy Bonnet on it. So, wow. Good delivery there. Full length delivery. And it's the end of the over. And at the end of over number two, Roma is now 20 for two. Kids are flying and runs going for Roma. I'm wondering if they're gonna lose Ricket in every over and scoring an average of 10 runs per over. So far, they're 10 runs per over in the run rate. And, and of course, there's a message out for Jimmy. Jimmy, the murder, Ricket! I'm wondering if Jimmy is a victim of murder and Ricket. Jimmy looking on as Itchy the Hobbit to bowl over number three for scheme Knights Super King sorry and Jimmy favored the pig pen stand so the ball has to be careful of the line he bows to Jimmy. Jimmy batting at number four for Roma. Uncommon seem nervous in the Roma dugout. He's very uneasy. Drinking water. And Jimmy, there's a chance for Roma. And Jimmy goes to the bowler's end. And the throw in and Jimmy. Jimmy is there. And Ice, of course, doing some figure skating. He's melting because the temperature is not suitable for his conditions. And Ichi very disappointed with his skipper as Ichi comes up and bows to. NSC boss, after rolling in in his luxury BMW earlier, 
as Ichi comes up and goes to Bouncy. That's a swing and a miss from him. Quick feet. And of course, Ichi comes up and goes to <laughs> comes up and goes to Bounty. Bounty playing very defensively. Kill another to Bounty, another dot ball and the scheme fielders very happy with all the dot deliveries so far. Roma averaging 10 per over. So a six and a four will bring redemption to them. And that's the six we're talking about. Roma still on four for their 10 runs per over. And of course, Diego, the relic. As Diego comes up and balls to Jimmy. No murder, you wicked Jimmy! It's in the air, it's again. Oh, it's taken by ice. Nearly dropped Pina. He almost dropped the catch. And Jimmy goes back to the pavilion. He didn't murder his wicket, but he was caught. And we're wondering what happened to Roma. I'm wondering if they're about to collapse. What do you think, Wiley? I mean, the size of the Suns, I think they should be going to the crease right now. We got a grandson, my son, your son, one son, all the sons. The sons should be going to the cruise. Six son, three son, my son. I don't know. They should be going to the cruise, right? Also, in the Roma body lineup, we have Damien Wintercoot, Bird, Fraser, Diver. Also in the pavilion, and that's just his first name. <laughs> Seem very nervous in the pavilion. And that's another swing and a miss by Bounty. And the score remains on 28 for three. Roma. Or 27 for three corrections. That's a brilliant delivery from Diego the Relic. That's his third ball of the over. And Bounty not able to capitalize on some of the old sugar formula by Diego. The score base at 27 for 3. And finally back onto ball. And these two giants at the crease. 80 pounds of belly each. Fast as a lightning. Maybe the defeat of Liverpool reflecting in the back of their mind as Diego the Relic comes up and bows to Skillers. And skillers. Start over, start over. Oh God. Stop or go by give. That's the fourth over for scheme. It's twenty-eight for three. Scoring at seven per over. That's with this run rate, the projected score would be 70 runs from 10. This is not good enough. They require at least 90 runs to make it competitive for Skim to panic. We have seen Titi feeling at mid-off. Who goes by the motto of eat Titi, squeeze Titi, nanny Titi, big Titi. 
Well, now on the attack, we got a man called Ice. We all know his best over his 20 runs. And he's bowling a white ball. It's down the leg side. They have now converted Ice to an off spinner from the pacer. The man who has the fastest and quickest run up. Ice has one of the quickest run up and the slowest delivery. Using the number 17 jersey today. And Gallo says not out running as if he's about to faint. We are now questioning the fitness of Gallo. <laughs> He's back to the square leg umpire position. As Ice comes up and bows to Bounty. And it's a no ball signal by the umpire. I'm wondering what is happening with Scheme run up today and it's another free hit. Now the free hit rule is that you can't be out. As Ice comes up and bows to Bounty down the track. And it's another swing. Come on, Bounty, take out the armor. This will be wrecked history if Ice is not placed for a six. And as soon as we thought Ice would have bowled her over without being dispatched for a six. And Bounty, we're in the number six. Hit another six. And Ice. Comes up and bows to Bounty again down the track. Another swing. And these two batsmen are very fast for the size of their belly. 80 pounds each. In at the end of over number five, the score is 37 for three. Bounty not out on 14. And Jack Junior Jack at the crease, the Rasta. We have Senior Jack and Junior Jack on one team. One is the outcast for Top Town All Star, the other bowling a wide. This pitch doesn't like new bowlers nor new batsmen. We all know the fate of new batsmen is ducks. Unless you're lucky, as Jack comes up and bows to another wide. The score moves out to 39 for three. I'm wondering if his first legal delivery will go for a six. Come on, Rasta, warm up. We all know Bounty. It's power, and there it is. There's a chance for a run out. In some man. I've seen Inzaman bowl his first over Wiley for scheme in the last match. He bowled a very good over and so far we're not seeing him on the attack. I'm wondering what happened to him. I think they're saving him for the death overs, you know? They say he's now the new death bowler for scheme. But let's see what happens. Inza. For a man six feet three inches with a run up of medium pace, he's worse than. Huh? That's a brilliant shot. Where are you? And bump. And bump. Super bump. He has evolved to Coco. It's no longer bump. It's a Coco. Now he's no longer bump. He's now a blackhead. You catch him, you catch him, you caught him, you done. And the umpire says not out. And the wicket keeper itchy. Thought he took a brilliant catch. He's yet to take a catch behind the wicket. And of course, Bump has evolved to a blockhead, which means he's on his final lap before death. <laughs> Uh, Ngano, Ngano, and another Ngano. appeal for a catch and he goes, he's giving it 
Come on, Ingano. So now we have the Roma premier batsman. This is the man called Damien Wintercoat Diver. One Life Crab Lord Freezer. Yes, no. This is the man with a big reputation. The senior batsman in the lineup. Roma Knight is looking for Bird to bring them to 100. 100 runs mark. Can he do it? He's known as the anchor man. I'm wondering if he's going to anchor the innings for Roma today. This man has 20 names. <laughs> and a bit of mix up between Ice and Jeko. Ice training Jeko on the field to do figure skating and forget to take the catch. The score is now 42 for three. And and another off scheme top sideies. To skillers, I'm wondering if skillers going to use his skills. And that's a white signal by Gallo. What the? Oh my God! And the black man has died. The black man has died. What the? Oh my God! And the black man has died. The black man has died. This is like a macho. A macho. Of course, the belly of the macho, aka Sweaty, has flown the air back. We have Reverend Gelding checking in. I am so and bump who has evolved to a blackhead. He's almost squeezed out of. I think Squilly has squeezed a blackhead out of the pitch. Off the field there. He was. Oh, God. Oh, my God. The blockhead almost cried out. And Sweeney looking at the ball. I had no idea there was a blockhead in, in the midst. <laughs> Was using his feet. He was training with no bat all week. He spaced 15 delivers or 15 delivers. He's used his feet. Um. <laughs> and I'm wondering if it's because Roma wearing that jersey, they think it's corner league for football. And the chairman of the Gelding Club, Boy Bro, not happy with the batting so far of his team. And at the end of, it's now 45 for three. At the end of over number, end of over no, number seven. So three overs remaining, 18 legal deliveries. It's Diego the Relic about to bowl to Skillers. 
So with three overs to go, I think Skillers, he's got to let this go now. He's got, to, he's got to let loose. He's got to swing his bat as hard as he possibly can. I think Roma, if they put a total of 70 on the board, it's competitive. Looking at the scheme side, I don't see a lot of batsmen out there to score 70 runs. Look at that. And of course, Skillers, another swing and a miss. Itchy animated again behind the stumps, trying to deceive the umpire. I just think Itchy is surprised because he finally catch from behind the stumps. I think so too. He's a bit animated. Or maybe he's feeling a bit of pain. Maybe he has arthritis. But there's one way to find out. As the relic comes up and bows to Skillers, another dot delivery. And yes, it's a very disappointing batting so far by Roma. They're 45 for 3, they have wickets in hand. In 7.2 overs. I don't know where. And looking at grandson's shoes. And it's Titi under the delivery. And E Titi squeeze Titi. Nani Titi, big Titi takes the catch. And boy Brown, wearing a 1976 Air Force. Yeah, 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 give him an inch and a six ducks, man. We have now at the crease the chairman, the first chairman of the Gelding Club, Roma, lower order batsman, boy Brown, who has the track record of six ducks. We now have a proper introduction by Bravo. So now we have the relic, Diego, looking to ensure Man Brown continues consistency. This is the man who has a big cup of ducks. Oh, and that's a French cup by Samuel Brown. And we have the review from the television replay. Let's look at it. Yeah, good. Kind of roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. And what's the signal of the umpire going to be? What's the final decision? And it's a single signal by the umpire. As the relic comes up and boasts to anchor man. Yeah, yeah, Angie. <laughs> oh, God. As Diego comes up and bows to Anchorman, another swing and a miss. And, and Anchorman faced over 50 deliveries and still didn't make one and he's back to the pavilion for a duck i think this is the most this is the prettiest duck i've ever seen it's so entertaining this guy played like 14 different shots and he didn't even get off the mark with his feet he's played, he's played like so many shots through the covers with his feet I'm wondering if he's going to rename Happy Feet after this day. The score is still 46 for 5. Roma on the verge of a collapse. As Ichi rolling to Boy Brown. It's a pull away and a chance for a run out. And a miss feel by Ichi the Hobbit. And finally, after 17 innings, Mandon Bat has finally played the ball. He's played his first delivery. Here comes Itchy Bowling to Brown and he's spinning away in his miss. That's what we know. That's the Mandon we know. Only difference is the stumps are still standing. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Here we go. Pitch it up to the crease. Bowling to Brown. And Brown is swinging. All right. All right. All right. And that's it. All right. The Gelding Club. We have Reverend Gelding in our midst. Reverend Gelding looking on. Very happy. And Gallo has given it. And it's a stump. Why are you lucky, man, bro? And Roma continues to lose wicket in quick succession here in match number six. Between the Knights and the Super Kings. We all know Roma is. It's a wide signal by the umpire. The score is now 53 for 6. <laughs> Oh God! And there's a chance for another run out. And Titi seemed a bit dehydrated at long off. It was a crazy throw. So now with the feeling set, we have. We have blocked at cover. Shane at long off. Swelly at a whitish third man. So with Frozen out of the deep freeze, it's important that Roma cash in on this over. Because Ice have never bowled two overs without conceding 20 from one. Here's Ice up to Lauren Frost. Oh, so, yeah, so frozen, so frozen, living up to his name. This is a man who always maximizes green card. So once again, frozen up to Lawrence Frost. Oh, and that was pulled away to make the kid. Oh, and he's hit the margin before. And you could see it's a man distracted by the ladies in the bumper stand. So this is where. So we have we have this scheme manager slash coach on Skype. He's watching it match live with his skipper frozen once more up to Larry Cross. Oh, and that's a good delivery by Frozen. So Roma challenges quickly up to 68 with Lauren Frost looking to tee off once more. Oh, and that's a broad, it's broader than Broadway. So we have Beachy here on Skype and FaceTime. He's watching his skipper frozen, flashing off his green card. I could hear BJ say, oh, who cares about the ball, man? The little size of the ball. That's what he said. Does BJ seem a bit speechless? He's not saying anything. BJ, are you okay? He's still speechless. He's just watching the game. As we know, BJ is on FaceTime. The score is now 69. And at the end of 
of 10 overs. It's 69. Don't buy them good at jump, sir. No, no. Check, check. We're about to start the run chase. We're about to start the run chase. It's seven to required at seven runs per over from scheme. And Chachao to open the bowling for Roma with Inzaman and on strike. So let's see the depth of this Roma bowling attack. Let's see if they can defend 69 runs. Yeah, simple man, I want to do that man. Bravo. Scorer, umpires want to see you. Wave your hands to them. Gallop be lonely. Mons Bravo to wait for him. Here goes to Chow 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 Chow. Man called Chow Chow. Bowling to Inza. And yes, we got it. And now oh, it. And it's poor feeling there by Killer. Scorn for four. Straight through his hands. Straight through his hands. First ball for four. No, no. I don't know what happened there. I think Killer was looking into the sun. Didn't see the ball. Straight through his hands. Here he goes, sharp ball into Inza. And Inza yeah. is playing that one there to the keeper. No run. After two deliveries, it's four for no wicket. Chasing 70. I think Killer thought he was killing Mosquito there. As he was clapping in the air. Instead of trying to save on, the delivery. On. So it's four with our loss after three deliveries. And that's a wide signal by the umpire. The score moves up to five without loss. There is a judge. Inza on four. Jeko yet to face his first delivery. Who are you? What that? What that? It's a brilliant delivery by Chow. Chow Chow. Come on, Chow Chow. Come on, Chow Chow. Mali, wicket keeper for Roma in the first over. As Chachao comes up and bows to Inzaman, not interested in playing a shot. And Beachy joining us on FaceTime watching Kinney on this new signing by Scheme. He was the man of the match in their last game. Of course, at the end of the first over, the score is five without loss. And Jimmy about to bowl. I think the sons are afraid of the game. They don't want to bat, they don't want to bowl. I don't know what's happening here. They are afraid of the sunshine, I heard he was coming into the commentary area. They are now using Jimmy. It's in the air and bounty gazing in the sun. And that goes for another boundary. A disappointing feeling by the Romans. Enes Ibar struggling with the sun. I'm wondering if his eyesight is fading. And I think he's going to go to the sun. And that's a ball. Another boundary there by Jeko. I think the reason why Enes Ibar is having problems is because they gave him Appleton to drink before he started playing. No. Here goes Jimmy Bowling to Jekko and Jekko is swinging down away. And he's gone for six. I think this is Buffet Bowling here. It's Buffet Bowling. It's take all you want. Hit me please, hit me please. 
and it shows a green card still issuing as Beachy watching the live coverage laughing to see his scheme openers onto a flyer here no swing out here on Jimmy as Jimmy continues he got the that is the hoo hoo formula folks and we have hoo hoo in our midst it's 25 without loss after two overs. 20 from the second over. And we have uh, in our midst. The coach for Sugar Bowling. Uh, I see he's wearing his shirt mark opening stop. So it seems as if uh, he's recruiting staff. He has the formula distributing to all teams. I think he recruited Jimmy. <laughs> and Jimmy got the hoo hoo formula. And my son still hiding from the bowling attack. And finally, we see grandson taking up responsibility. And. After two overs, scheme off to a flyer. They're 12.5 runs per over. So I believe Beachy was right. They can hit 70 runs within five overs to build their strike rate. As grandson comes up, it's a man, it's a man afraid to play attacking to grandson. Okay, so grandson fires up, comes up the most lead to man. And that's a wide. And the score moves on to 27. The score moves on to 26, sorry. 26 without loss. As grandson comes up the most lead to man. And that's a edge. Outside edge for four. In someone with a swing. He is very happy. It's an outside edge for four between keeper and third man. And Jimmy, holding as if he has arthritis, went for 20 runs. And that's a brilliant comeback by grandson, who was unfortunate with the edge of Inzaman's butt going for four runs. As grandson turns, comes up and goes to Inzaman. And there's a chance for a run out. But Jekyll is very fast. So he was home before the run returned. Five runs from the over. And as grandson comes in and goes to Jekyll. And that's a gift. And he's into the eye. Sugar. Yeah, man. And Jekyll yeah, man. becomes the first oh, man to be out from a uh, sugar delivery. What is here? Roma played so many games. This is your first wicket in any form of wicket for Roma. First wicket. And Jekyll has drowned in the sugar. I think he has diabetes. Is he too much sugar? Good catch by Chow 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 Chow. And I don't know why they didn't give Gunson the ball earlier. Here goes Gunson. Hole into Itchy Dad. I think that's the biggest six we've seen here. That's like 150 meters. For a very short man. That's a huge six. It went flying all the way to Jeff's Veranda. It's now 37 for one. All three of us, and of course, grandson seemed as if he got the uh, sugar. And now we see my son after grandson. This is the team full of sons six son, three son, my son, seven son, one son. As my son comes up and goes to Inzaman, and it's a wide, very wide. Wide. 
Bravo telling my son to bend this back. That's why. Another white signal by the umpire. The score moves on to 39 for one. If you look here in the sand, you see the Roma fans disappointed with the batting and the bowling of this Roma team. The west side stand is full of Roma fans. Here comes the sun bowling and he's swinging that away. There's a chance to run here. And the Hobbit short legs, quick steps was safe. <laughs> Very safe there. His legs are moving so fast. <laughs> he made it to the crease before Inzaman and Inzaman is two times his height. <laughs> After a man afraid to bowl, he's giving word of advice to my son. My son hoping to give Ichi raw pace. Comes up and bowls to Ichi. And then the swing. And he's bowling. What you done? What you done? Ladies and gentlemen, that's the march of the Hobbit. And with two wickets down, we know scheme is now in the tail. What you done? He's walking to the crease. Yeah. I don't think he can see his back. After the, what do you mean, man? Uh, the dance of nice. From a bump to a black yeah, man. After crashing with Sway, man called Trainer Chuck. I don't think Blackhead is, is going to be able to swing his back. And here, we know Top Tone wanting Skip to lose. Because they don't want Skip to go at four points before them. <laughs> the captain Bravo is giving Stepa instructions of how to bowl. But I don't think you have to do much to get this man out. Because this man, I don't think he's seeing well after crashing with Sweaty. Weighing 450 pounds. This man is a blackhead. I don't think he weighs more than 30 pounds. I don't think he can swing this ball into the boundary. But let's see. Stepper in bowling to Blackhead. And Blackhead is swinging that away. Oh, it's a beautiful delivery there. No home player, that's not wide. Home player signal wide, I don't think it was. <laughs> and that's a wide signal by the umpire. And Blackhead, of course, we all know bump. Evolving from a bump to Blackhead after his earlier collision with Swelly. Down the track and a swing and a miss. And the score is 41 for 2. We're into over number 4. Black, black it down the track. <laughs> and of course, oh god, that's a top edge for four. And Blackhead is off the mark. The score moves on to 45. Test him, test him. Test him, test him, test him, test him. Test him. So, scheme off to a flyer, but we all know a couple more ricket and you're in the tail. So, can Sniffer get another breakthrough? Oh, and this is good bowling by Sniffer. I'm wondering why Roma didn't start with the Sun Twins. Just to correct, bravo. Roma has a lot of son. One son, my son, grandson, six son, seven son, twelve son. And they also have boy, bro. Tell him again, Angie. Yeah, man, she has four. It's now four to five for two. After. In front of the camera, Angie. Defending 69. Not good ball in there. You know, Roma with the sons. 
Queen Triplet of Sons. They also got a ball. The boy is brown. Even though his color is black. You're in front of the camera, Angie. Boy brown here. You're black Looks camera, like he's the camera, Set in the field. Telling Skillers to go way over there. Here comes. Chow, chow, chow. And that one is way over there, over the pick fence down. Ball for six. Buffet stay bowling from Chow, 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 Chow. You know, Buffet, you take what you want. Chow, Chow. And if that's any one, then a six, so you a six. Like I said, it's Buffet bowling. It's free for all. It's also called all inclusive. <laughs> and it's another misfield, and it's almost gone to the magic. <laughs> And they paid 17 million pounds for a 17 million euro. 17 million bottle of water. There goes your ball in it. Yes. He's there, he's playing that one day. And the man called Ennessy Boss, who drink after the time before he started playing this game. Put some water, Angie. Put some water, Angie. Here goes Trump again. Ball in it. He's there, he's swinging that one away. And it's a white ball. He didn't even touch it. Oh my God. I'm wondering after seeing Inzaman's first two display from Scheme, Romy, the Gibraltar skipper, would have liked to have a batsman like Inza today ah. to win the run chase. All right, is, see he, is he going to be taken by Skillers? It is taken Take by it. Skillers. Oh, and Inzaman goes. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And I would want, I'm wondering why Inzaman would like Blackett to salute his bat after that. Mistimed batting from him. It's now 52 for 3. So, Scheme was hoping to get the 70 runs in 5 overs. It is not going to be possible. However, they're still on top in this run chase. We are about to see a collapse from Scheme. It would be a disgrace if Roma beat Scheme today in this fashion. No one in this pitch in this wicket. It's not pretty to do, batsman. And Frisco is at the crease face in his first delivery in this competition. First delivery at the top town Monte Purple Stadium. Here comes Shaw Bowling to Frisco and he's swinging out of the way. To the covers there. Chance for a run out. And Jimmy with his hands. Can't even go over. Threw that one in there. It was going so fast. It was as fast as a roller. I think age and fitness is totally against Jim. Here comes Joe, bowling to the man. Blackhead. Blackhead is swinging that one away. Down to the man, come down. Good feeling there. But poor throwing. Poor, poor throwing from the man called Brown. The boy, Brown. It's now 54 for the last of three wickets at the end of over number five. So now they require another 16 runs from five overs, 30 deliveries, 16 runs. And we got the man called. So Roma need has turned to their trump card. No one, they need a much. This is the man who got Come hit on, by a car about yeah. 10 years ago. Gotcha. Oh, and that's a good shot ball by Wintercourt into the chest plate of Frisco. So Frisco was signed for a lifetime sponsorship of Kisco. And here goes Wintercourt rolling to Frisco. And it's a wide signal by the umpire. Another run. And the score moves on to 55 for a loss of three wickets. Into over number six. It's a coach. Ball into Frisco. Swinging the other way over cover. Six runs. Beautiful shot there. On the back foot. Over cover. And it's another nine runs required. From four points. Four overs. And I say. Into coach. Not looking so well bowling. I think he should have stick to catching fish. Way back then. Oh crap. He catch fish, he catch crab, he catch everything. Here goes into coat. A beautiful delivery there. And no run. 5.3 overs gone. 
Nine runs required. Here he goes into court, bowling to Fisco. And Fisco is defending that one there. And there is no run. One of the sons, I can see from here, is wearing a hat. Dear son, your son, my son, thy son. Here goes into court, bowling to Frisco. Oh, a man called Molly. And at this rate, looks like we've got to play some even cricket after this. Because Roma is losing this game very quickly. Here goes one of... Our oh, beautiful believer there. No run. Intercoach. After hitting, after being hit for a six over cover. Good comeback. And at the end of over number six. The score is now six to one for three. Requiring another nine runs scheme. And the birds of being the first team to four points in the competition. We all know about West Indies with that historic victory today over Bangladesh. Man called Mr. Mayers scoring a double century in the second innings. First batsman ever to do that. And I blast us with a convincing victory over Gibraltar. We know that early game. So we've got one of the sons bowling from this end here. <laughs> Ransom bowling to the man called Blackhead. And he's bowling! Beautiful delivery there! And they've squeezed the Blackhead out of Roma's face. <laughs> the Blackhead is back into the pavilion. Walking with the bat. We all know he wasn't going to make any runs because he couldn't see the delivers after, being, after crashing into Swelly. And Swelly is replacing the Blackhead after squeezing him out. Do you feel it? <laughs> Beautiful delivery there by grandson. And after Black got smashed by 450 pounds <laughs> of belly. It's now Swelly replacing him at the crease. As grandson comes up and goes to Swelly, he's high in the air and he goes for six. Swelly connects it onto his car top. I'm wondering if he's trying to take the ball as a passenger to Duncan's. That goes for six. It's now six to seven. As grandson comes up and bows to Swelly and it's another swing. And he goes for six. And that's the end of the match. And Swelly with the BAU performance. Business as usual performance from Swelly. We all know BAU for Swelly means belly as usual. Swing those two deliveries for six. Finishing the game. Told Pump to come out because Pump wasn't doing anything. And he didn't want the deliveries to be finished. Good knock from Swelly. And we have Coach Dane on FaceTime watching live coverage of his team. Triumphant in back-to-back -back victories. And before the fans leave, we read about to delivery. Deliver his first delivery to Diane and it's right up in the air and he's right in the stock. Oh my God, and Diane need more cornmeal. <laughs> Danit, sorry, need more cornmeal. Porridge. Lack of strength. That's the second delivery. And he swings away. Uh, still not yet over the rope. And Greed about to board the third and final to Dan Danit. And it's another swing. And Danit. I'm wondering if Danit understands the rule. It's not for fours, it's for sixes. And Danit hit three consecutive fours. The tyrant, the supporter for Roma. Angie, not ready. Making her mark and off goes the first delivery. And Angie swings away and it's four runs. And Angie comes up again and goes to Angie. And Angie gets in that one. That's in the air. It didn't pass the crease. It's not even for a single. And the, and the third one has great up. Throws it up to Angie. And Angie swings away and misses. Oh my goodness. She almost. Had a pull shoulder and Angie is back for a duck as well. And third up, we have Candy. I know why we 
Now we see why Angie represents Roma. Because she can't claim boundary. It's a lot of strength and confidence. The Roma representative missed hit one for four and one for not even a single. And now Candy, the giant at the crease, full power as Candy miss. Candy not even timing that one very well. And Greta. And here we go. Candy about to face her second. As Greta goes into Candy, and it's another swing. And we're yet to see Candy put one out of the crease. And here comes Candy's third, and it's not even a single. As it's a dead ball, and Candy goes back to the pub in that's three. And now her cousin. And now we have Sketty, the mighty, the big mighty Sketty, who win bingo with the number five more than anybody else. And Sketty is at the crease. Will this be six? Let's see. And Sketty smashes. She fell short of the six. It's four. We're yet to see the first six. And that's another. Is he gonna clear the rope? Oh no, it was short. And Sketty seemed as if she's short of some cornmeal porridge. I'm gonna ask Duke to make her some cornmeal porridge as well. And this is the third one. And Sketty. Sketty batting as if she's playing tennis. And Sketty goes back. And that's the end of About to go there with the rug in the back pocket as if she's an off-spin bowler with the beast mode attitude about to face face off some deliveries from Greta and this is the first one and it's a, it's a edge it didn't pass the crease and that's the first one there's the second one giving herself room another swing and a miss and the third and final delivery, giving herself more room. Watch out, watch out. Too much room, too much room. And we will give her another delivery for our redemption. And, there it is. and it's still a miss, a swing and a miss. There is daylight between bat and ball, and we are yet to see the first six of this face-off. And now we have Michaela at the crease. Michaela Carr at the crease. As Greta comes up and goes to Kayla. And that's, the, is he gonna that's the biggest one. That's the first six. That's the joint formula. Yeah. Another oh, swing, but it fell short. And the final delivery for Kayla. We all see the joint formula. And here we go. And it's another swing, but it fell short of six. So. That was the final delivery. And Kayla hit 1 6. And now. And now Sally. Sally Bali at the crease. Walking very slowly. Sally reserving her strength to hit sixes. I'm wondering if Brit is going to join the six clan. As Brit seemed very muscular at the boundary rope. And Kayla is the first female to hit six so far. Now we have Sally. It's Greta. Throws this one to Sally. The she, has good timing. she has good timing, but it way short of six. It didn't even go for four. Greta with his second delivery. Sally, Sally tried to play the leg side bunch because it's shorter. And she missed. And here's the third delivery. Still trying to play six. And Sally has leveled up with Kayla, and that's the end of Sally. And Brick.
Brit. The last time Brit attempt to hit six, she didn't even hit one ball. I'm wondering if there is redemption today for Brit. So far we have a tie between Kayla and Sally. And now Brit holding the bat as if she's playing table tennis. Batting on the left. Brit didn't even move the ball from the crease. Brit is very gifted batting left and right handed. <laughs> So it's still one face by Brit, and this is our second legal one. And it's Boulder Stumps. Oh my goodness! We have the third and final, and Brit didn't even move. Brit continues her record, and she goes backpacking out of the crease. And now we have the rebel called Neva. Neva! Make sure you make six! <laughs> and we also waiting on Mishana. <laughs> I heard Mishana planting 50 pounds of yambang. Yam daily. After changing her support to the real steep. Not too bad. And now we have Neva at the crease. Yeah. Left handed bat. Neva facing off her purse. Whoa. And that goes flying. I saw command that. I saw command to them. Now go by Bonji. And Neva. I'm not sure what Neva is trying to accomplish. Neva is a left handed bat. Bat woman, sorry. And now. We have Greta to bowl his third delivery to Neva. Neva! Party ball now! Well, there we go, is he gonna go for six? It's still fresh. And Neva disappoints once again. And Neva goes back, packing. And now we'll see the sister, the, fa the former champion, Nayoka. Come Nayoka! You're still waiting on that hundred dollar credit, Nayoka. Come Nayoka, man. Go and go lick six, come on. Every day they watch cricket, you must can lick six. Make sure it's a seven you lick. And now. Nayoka, who won the credit for the last six off, is about to face her first, trying to play it on the All right. side, and it fell short. Come Nayoka, one now, right here. Nayoka again, facing her second, with a swing and a miss, and Nayoka cannot be the defending champion, is it going to be a three player face off? So far it's Kayla and Sally with one six apiece and night to face her last delivery and Come on, man. it seems as if gary took all of her strength and she goes back packing and that's the six that puts Nayoka in the three player playoff between Kayla Sali and Nayoka for the grand prize. And Sali to face their three deliveries in the finals. That's the first one. And Sally did not make that go for six. So Sally trying to play smart playing on the leg side. And we have another one as we. Sally trying to play on the left side and she dispatches that one for a six. One more six. It's the shortest end on the ground for a six. And here we go. And Sally missed. And that's Sally again, one six. And Kayla second up. So Kayla requires two sixes to win. 
And Sally in front after hitting one six from her three deliveries faced. As Greta throws this one up to Kayla and that throws it. It's traveling. It does. It clears the rope. Kayla has two more deliveries to make two sixes. And does it clear the rope? No, it fell short. <laughs> 